what happened to them. I just died. All right, guys. Welcome back, Bisnet Productions. We are on day three here at Grid Life Atlanta. Uh, it's about noon. I kind of slept in. Had a little bit to eat. It's, uh, it's a little rough this morning, but still some good drift sessions, still some fun stuff. So, and then obviously we got to pack up and head home, which is the worst part of all of it. But it is what it is. So, enjoy the ride. Jacob. Okay. Oh, you are surprisingly uh, peppy today. I'm fine. Surprisingly yeah, alive. Yeah. I guess you can't be hungover and only drink four beer. I had six. You had six. Six white claws. Oh. Okay. Half of some beer. Let the world know. And then Riley's uh, hooked. Yeah. The claw. On the white claw? I love it. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, Drift session's over. Really enjoyed uh, using this little Z-mount thing that I picked up. I, file, I feel like my shots have gotten a, a ton smoother with it. So I think we're gonna take a little break. Maybe head back out for the last drift session. We gotta start packing up soon. So wah, wah, wah. <laughs> That about does us here, Eckerd Life. So, kind of continue to pack up, go to the hotel, grab some food, and just kind of relax the rest of the day. It's, it's a hot one. All right, guys, it's now Monday. The trip is over, but the actual road trip back has just begun. I apologize for the lack of footage. I am absolutely wiped. I did get the first vlog photo out, or photo, first vlog video out. So, if you're watching the third one, you haven't watched the first two, I don't know, that's weird. But, yeah. 
No bag tag. I'm not, my reflexes are dulled. So, we're gonna grab some breakfast and then basically straight hole shot at home. So, I have no idea what's gonna come out of this. I get, I get no idea. Look at, look at these bags. See that? That's a good weekend. Look at all this acne. That's a good weekend. Ugh. Tennessee moonshine. Figured if we were stopping, why not? They also said they had free samples. Not that I will partake, because I will be driving. Oh, sweet private tour. We I won't touch anything. Back here, we actually have one cooker. We are the smallest distillery in the United States. You're the smallest distiller. Yes. Distillery. Yes. Uh, wow. We use this for our corn. We cook our corn. When it cooks, uh, when we put it in, it starts heating up, warming up. We filter off all the uh, impurities on top of the corn. Mm -hmm. And then after it cooks for about few, two to three hours, something like that, we add our sugar, and then it's dumped into these. And it sets back here along this line. I want that whisk real bad. With <laughs> about a week, week and a half to ferment. Okay. Right there. And then it's taken around to the other side to our Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No, that's fine. These are real copper stills, though. Yeah, but like, every, every like, in, in large distilleries, this is all in surgical steel or stainless. We have so an actual. We have 225 steel. Okay. We have 250 gallon steels. Yep. Uh, they just actually, I don't know how to explain how they run, because they do that. <laughs> yeah, well, they would They would basically, so you alcohol. Know, this, this is used, our two little small ones is used for our 144 proof, because okay. it actually the steel seven times, and that makes it bring up the proof. Yeah, so it's, it's it, can, it can get to, yeah, it's. So this, so then you get, so then that filters everything off, any impurities, and then you get your first and second pulls, and your first yeah. one's going to be your strongest. Yeah, and then the first is our heads. We take those off when yeah. it comes out first. Because that, that's what makes you go blind. Yeah. yeah. That, that is really bad. And then we run our hearts. Okay. And then we run our tails. Oh, okay. So your, your hearts would be your, like, pure, and then your tails is what you'd use for infusions and stuff. Yeah. Interesting. And your head is just... That's what you you keep the house warm with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you run it in race cars. We call yeah. it e Yeah, we call it ethanol, which is funny, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kinda. I wonder if the gas station's so cheap down the street. Yeah, because the ethanol <laughs> comes right from here. Thank you for the thank you for the miniature tour. Um, of the sorry, of the mini No. No, it's just I usually do that. I run the steels, but I don't <laughs> do the work in the back. Oh, you did a great job. So that's kind of out of it. No, it's just super interesting. Because, yeah, it's just a culture, right? Like, this is what this inspired racing. If it wasn't for this, there'd be no NASCAR, there'd be no racing in America. Well, thank you again. I really appreciate it. All right, thank you. We'll see you. Yeah. We'll try and stop in again on our way down next year. All right. We're going to hit back out on the road and uh, basically probably going to drive to Kentucky and then Lexington and then swap out there and keep rolling. All right. Maybe a stop some more America food, Crystal Burger. It's literally a box of burgers. I think Garrett and Clayton and all them left early, and this is what happened to them. I need to die. Don't worry, everybody. The soup line is okay, but the truck is uh, a little worse for wear. So, don't know what to tell you. Maybe we'll get some more information and fill you in, but everybody's all right. But uh, yeah, the wheel came completely off, I'm assuming at highway speeds, and they're stuck somewhere in Ohio, so. I don't know what we'll be doing. Okay, so that was Megan. They seem to be okay. They're trying to figure out a game plan. I thought this vlog was going to be boring. I didn't think I was going to have enough footage. I hate that I'm excited that Garrett tried to crash this truck. He didn't crash it, he just broke it. He just broke. But they kind of knew ahead of time this might happen. They were just risking it, but it is what it is. So everybody's safe, so that's the main thing. And. Uh, yeah, I'll update you if I have an update. What's up? What's up? Look at it. You were right over there a couple days ago. <laughs> I know. We're all just t more tired and more fat. Although, we're debating whether or not we lost weight or gained weight over the trip. 
I think he gained it. Oh yeah. I was averaging eight miles a day. Big shot. Got shot. Got shot. Oh. Uh, after the whole deal that's going on with Garrett and Clayton, I was like, hey, I should probably check my lug nuts. And uh, oh, we got a winner. Oh, maybe two. So, take all this shit out and go get my fucking wrench. Uh, I'm glad I checked it. All right, Nate. Bye. Are you coming to Canada this year? We'll work on it. Ice racing. Sounds good. You should come up for ice racing. We'll, get, we'll go see a hockey game. Hockey? Hockey. Hockey? Right. We'll go curling. We'll go curling. We can make that happen too. Let's see. I didn't step on your coffee. It's better about good beat you. Alright, right, man. Safe drive. Let me know when you get home. Yeah, you too. Alright, so we're just driving by where uh, Clayton and Garrett and all of them had their little problem. Um, we tried to find it, but there's so many like tire marks leading off the road, we couldn't figure out which one it was. Uh, but that being said, they got it all figured out. We got the truck towed to a dealership. They said it would take a couple of days to get done. Um, so what they ended up doing is they had four CAA cards, and they're using that to get it back, uh, at least the truck back, and then they're gonna rent a truck to come and get the trailer with the Skyline on it. So they've got a plan, they got it figured out. Um, yeah, just uh, everything's safe. The truck, you know, obviously has some damage, but other than that, everybody's good, so. They'll, uh, they'll be back eventually. Hopefully I can, uh, you know, chat with them about it, and we'll get that all wrapped up. But, I don't know how else did that. Yep. All right, guys, so we're back in Canada now. Pretty uneventful to barter. So back to the land of expensive fuel, high taxes, and free healthcare. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the whole trip went outstanding. Super happy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed everything that went along. Uh, there's some other stuff that's going to come out of this that you guys may or may not get to see. There's some shoots that we did that were kind of, well, you saw them in other videos, but I can only talk so much about them uh, right now because I don't know where they stand. But if I can release them, then I will. And if I can't release them, you should be able to find them with the information kind of given already. But uh, thanks again for coming along with us throughout this trip. We had a blast. Um, Shouts out to everybody, Scott, AJ, for helping out with everything. Green Life 2020. We're, uh, we're definitely gonna be back. We're trying to get Scott back for next year, but it might be the year after that. And we're planning a massive trip for 2020. We're already working on it now. So if you've thought about going down to Green Life South, um, 2020, it gives you it gives you enough time. You can plan this. You can do this. So we want to do a big ass cruise. Lots of fun stops. Very similar to this trip. Hey, the green point that thing. Jesus Christ. Kids these days. Anyways, um, so thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and share and all that fun shit. Uh, yeah, new videos on Mondays and Fridays. Although I'll probably have a few extra ones out because of all the content we've got. This is podcast every Wednesday. If you like everything, um, jump over to our Patreon. It's a buck a month. And you get uh, some extra bonus content and extra podcasts and cool shit like that. So also, if you want a Pissnet Productions t-shirt, you can send us a message and we will get one out to you. Other than that, thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time.